Good morning, everybody. This is Paula Ward. Um, hope you guys are having a great Monday. Uh, hope you missed me yesterday. I was at the baseball field, as usual. And I thought I would come to talk to you today about um, my Monday dilemma, because it's a huge point of being um, a sports mom. So the biggest thing I have on Monday is cleaning all the sports stuff. Um, last year, we had white pants. And... Um, these weren't them, but they were like white baseball pants. And with the AU fields, we now had a new enemy, which was clay, which I could not get out. I had basically located and I had basically mastered dirt. I have mastered grass stains, but I couldn't for the life of me get clay out of my stuff. So what I did was I had gone to, um, hello Matt. Um, I had gone to Facebook because I figured, well, I've got, I know a lot of moms that either their kids have gone through baseball or softball or any other sports and maybe had some more tips for me. Um, so that's where I got, finally got the stains out. Uh, after a while, I didn't care. <laughs> but, you know, as a new mom, oh, you want the pants to be crisp and white? I just bought them. And literally the first time we wore them, they were orange. So some of the things I found, and I found a great article in here um, from... Um, Let's see what her name is, Marlene. Marley uh, Marlo um, Leverett, and she was talking about cleaning baseball pants, which was a lot of tips that basically the moms gave me. Um, so the biggest one is a material. Cotton's nice. Cotton breathes. Cotton does not clean well. Um, and also, I found if I spend a little bit more on the baseball pants. Um, they actually clean better. I have I use Easton and um, Under Armour, and I have pants that still look brand new. I have a pair of gray ones that have no stains on them, and now my kids are sliding all over the place between being catcher and being you know running the bases. So um, I found those brands really worked. Even the white ones stayed clean better than some of the other options. Um, so basically, some the other things I found was that we pre-treat them. You can rinse them off in warm water. Unless there's blood. Blood you need to do with cold. Um, warm water will actually set the blood in the material, whereas um, cold water uh, will help get it out first. I've even run some peroxide in it to help get it out. Hello, Sheila. Um, good morning. And also pre-soaking them. I don't have a sink kind of in the middle, so what I've done is I have either a trash bucket or a big bucket, and we'll soak them. We'll put in um, half a cup of detergent. I use whisk. Um a scoop of OxyClean, and I even spray OxyClean on the stain on the knees. Usually it's knees and pockets, I find. Um, and then let those soak for an hour. I even soak them overnight. We do have well water here, and I have a system, uh, but you can buy water conditioning if, you're wa if you do have well that isn't treated, uh, because the, the harder the water, the less likely you are going to be able to get those stains out. Um, softer the water, if things come out very easily. Uh, basically, you just take the clothes, throw them in the wash then, Run them on um, this cold, warm, cold water because you don't want to rinse. You don't want to wash your uniforms in hot. Hot will make them shrink. And then they actually recommend to actually not put them in the dryer. You know who has time for that, right? Um, if it's overnight, and I think about it. I'll 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 hang them up. But for me, um, I've been putting them on low in the dryer by themselves. They also recommend not washing your clothes with other things. Two reasons: cotton and other materials kind of pill on your clothes. Um, it'll ruin uniforms. And also, God forbid, you got that lone red socks or, or something crazy in there that ends up ruining the whole entire uniform. Um, there were some other recommendations. One was the Fells Napta Bar um, and the Lava Bar. Both can be rubbed on the stain, sat for an hour, and washed. Um, but honestly, the biggest tip is, for me, you know, after washing them, is basically harassing the uniform guy long enough so that we switch from these... To black. So let me tell you, awesome. Best thing we did. All black uniforms. Very, hello Keith, very sister, very um, 70s looking, you know, like old pirates uniforms. Um, but I'll go tell you, they come clean. Um, and basically some days he just dry, dries them off and wears them again. It's pretty bad. I know, don't tell anybody I don't wash his clothes. But um, sometimes people have forgotten to wash in them. So, those are my recommendations for washing your clothes. I think that's everything. I will put, um, oh, I thought one more thing. I will put links in my um, article to the products. 
and basically, um, I hope this helps. The other thing that was really interesting, because I know we as moms in old school, chlorine fixes everything. Um, chlorine will actually ruin your uniforms and actually turn your baseball pants yellow. Um, I didn't realize this, but the chlorine actually removes the outer coating on the polyester um, and reveals the yellow under part of it. Uh, why your yellow clothes and sometimes uniforms will look yellow if you try to bleach them. So I love the girl's statement. She says, um, steroids and chlorine are alike in baseball. They should not be used. So I will go with that. I don't use chlorine anyways because Jim spills it all over everything. So I'm good with the chlorine. I just basically, if I need chlorine, I use the chlorine safe materials. So I hope this live helps. I am off to wash baseball uniforms. I don't know if I'm playing today. It's raining, but... I will be ready either way. They will be clean. So I hope this helps. I hope this li helps you and your family live your best life. And at least it'll be, what, cleaner and brighter. That's all I can do. Have a great day, you guys. See you tomorrow.